Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas. Shout out to those test taking weekend warriors. This is a uh, margin question. Don't overdose on margin. This is a mixed margin uh, question. You know, three or four questions, margin max. Uh, hopefully you're operating from abundance. You can guess be a sign of the universe. If you don't want to sign them to the universe and you want to be able to do them, good news. I mean, you know, once you know how to do the classic margin equation, you will get them right. Uh, that being said, if you want to learn it, I'm offering a uh, margin class. It's uh, 60 to 90 minutes. I schedule 60, but we sometimes go over if people have questions. Uh, that's Thursday night and it's $55. And I'll put a link if you'd like to join us. If you can't join us, that's fine. It'll be available as a uh, replay after the class itself. All right, so let's get started on this. QID 1283252. This is a Kaplan question. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't already have a Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. With my Guru 10 discount code, you can get it for about 60 bucks. You can also get the quick sheets. I'm a big fan of those for about $20. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. All right, so... Uh, we got to figure out what's going on in this question. An investor has a margin account with the following positions. Uh, long 500 shares of JKL. Long market value is $80 a share. And the loan against that debit register, debit balance is what you owe the brokerage for. So let's see what that's going to be. That's going to be $40,000 in long market value. Remember this from grade school, you can combine like things. So, we're, you know, we're going to combine the like things here. Uh, I also have in this account 200 shares of MNO at 130. So that's going to be $26,000 in long market value. Uh, we also have a short position. I've uh, sold short or sold borrowed shares, 400 shares of PQR. The short market value, that's what I owe, is 50. And I have cash of $30,000. Credit register is the cash from selling the shares I don't own plus the cash 50% I put up initially. And that's going to be in short market value, uh, $20,000. So the biggest thing you've got to be able to do on your test as it relates to margins is what I call the initial setup and the mark to market based on the classical margin equation. So the classical margin equation long is long market value minus debit register, debit balance, but you owe the brokerage firm equals equity. And the classical margin equation short is credit registered cash minus the short market value equals equity. Please note on the second ledger line, both is what you owe. In a, in a long account, what you owe is money. In a short account, what you owe are securities. Okay, so now I can do my initial setup. Uh, we have 66,000 in long market value. If we combine the $15,000 debit register and the 16,000 debit register debit balance, I owe the brokerage firm $31,000. And so now that means on that side of my account, I have 35,000 in equity. And now we're gonna do the initial setup on the short account. I have $30,000 in cash, credit register. Again, I put in red what I owe, right? What I owe is $20,000. And so I have $10,000 equity short. And so the combined equity is 35 on long, 10 on short. The combined equity is uh, $45,000. Let me just put that down there as our answer. Now, again, if you wanted to, you know, I don't suggest this, but you could also say, well, okay, what, what are the assets long and short? I have 66,000 in assets on the long side. I have $30,000 in cash assets on the short side for a total of 96. Right? And I can minus what the liabilities are the cash and the securities owed, and that would be another way to solve for that. And this is called a mixed margin account. Uh, low probability, every once in a while, somebody says they got a mixed margin uh, account. You know, and again, you got to do the setup. I uh, remember if I could ask you, for example, what is maintenance? And that would be 25% uh, of that long market value and 30% of that short market value. I could ask you uh, market value of maintenance. Uh, long and short, if it's long, debit by 0.75, it's credit 1.3. So a lot of things that can uh, follow from this initial setup. Now here, the, the, the most difficult I think you could do or get is where I ask you to do a mark to market. 
So what I mean by that is I now tell you several weeks later, JKL is at, MNO is at, PQR is at, and then we have to do a mark and do another setup to see whether we have excess or anything like that going on. Uh, I could do that presently, by the way. I'm looking at the long one. Half of 66 is 33, and I got 35. Half of 30 is uh, 15, I got 10. So, you know, again, you can find like things. So anyways, that's my recommendation for you. Hope to see you Thursday night for our margin lecture. Uh, this is the internet. I know it lives forever, but uh, if it's not Thursday night, it's on the schedule. So you know, just find the next one if you're interested. All right. You don't need it, actually. It's just an insurance policy. Uh, I, I feel bad when people are spending tutoring money for, you know, questions to go over practice margin questions that they're never, ever going to see an encounter on the exam. Hence, uh, you know, I put that as a class so you can get it done that way instead of uh, spending those resources on that tutoring. Remember, inch by inch, your exam is a cinch and yard by yard, your exam is hard. See you next time. Bye-bye.